kind of one of these nice handy dandy ties here, except on this bag, it'd be kind of hard to use this tie because I don't have enough of a lip here to tie around. So one of these tricks I have, I'll just take, you can use a screwdriver or something, I'm just going to use my key here. I'm just going to poke some holes around the end of the bag. And I'm just going to weave one end of this plastic strap through these holes back and forth. Now I can just tie this stri string here into a knot, and it pulls everything closed on itself. Nice flat surface there. And you see we have our support on the wall. I want to lay this bag out across this intersection of these bags just to tie everything in really well. And there we go. Okay then as far as these bags go when I have the whole roll filled then I'll come back and tamp them which I can show you an example on the other other side here. Uh, when you saw me with my nifty slider here uh, I've seen some on videos on the internet that use some metal that's a bit flimsy. It's a little bit more challenging with the bar wire that we put between the rows to, to pull out. Um, if you go to a junkyard somewhere, you might be able to find some of these old signs. My parents own a restaurant, they sold in 89, so we're reusing one of the signs they used to have out there. All right, so we'll go over to this other wall here. See this row of bags I've already laid out. I've been across them, tamped them once, but I'm going to go ahead and go across them and tamp them a second time just to make sure everything is nice and settled and packed really well in the bags. Here it goes. Using these small tampers helps to spread everything out, it gives the bags a nice rectangular shape. And if you're curious about this pipe here, I'm going to put a 90 degree angle on it and run it straight through the wall here. And in the future, uh, we may have rainwater coming off of the roof. This is a pipe that goes over to the utility room and into the 3,000 gallon rainwater cistern. You'll see I have strings in various places, and those strings are mainly to help me keep the walls nice and straight and level. So you can see from the angle where you're at right now, you can see how high the, uh, the wall is as far as keeping everything even. And on this post back here, I've got everything marked. I you see seven, eight, this is nine foot, we're going to have nine foot ceilings here. All right, so after coming through with the small tampers, now it's time to go through with the big tamper to make sure the bags are nice and flat. And you'll hear that slap. Uh, it's kind of what you're looking for or you're listening for to know that everything is flattened out uh, quite well. And then there's this other term, I didn't invent it, that's what I heard on, elsewhere on the internet, called hard assing, which is when you're packing the bags from the sides. So the bag's sticking out a little bit from your, where you'd like it to be. 
you can come back and tap it in a little bit on the sides.